Hello everybody and welcome. Welcome to another session. Hope you're all well. Now last few vi videos um we've been doing all the preparation stuff for this um small MQTT project that we're working on. Displaying uh, the data from a BME 280 uh sensor to a node red dashboard. We've installed all the libraries we require for the uh, Arduino IDE. We've installed Node-RED Client and the Node-RED Dashboard and the Mosquito Broker. That's the side that handles the, um, the messaging side of things. So um, what we'll do, we'll take a, a quick look at um, the drawing. OK, this is what we're trying to agree uh, to achieve. Uh, we've got the MQTT client goes to our Raspberry Pi because all my um, applications are installed on my Raspberry Pi. All right, so it goes to the Raspberry Pi, uh, sends a request to uh, ESP32, and we've got an LED. That LED will be on when the messaging is on. And then coming back, the BMA, BME280 sensor. Sends back humidity and temperature data to the ESP32, which has got the MQTT client. Goes back through the uh, Raspberry Pi, where Mosquito handles the messaging. All right. And then it goes to the MQTT client, uh, back to the MQTT uh, dashboard. So let's go to our dashboard. OK, here's our dashboard. Um, as you can see, we've got the uh, no red client. Remember, you need your IP address. Just to remind you, if you don't know how to get your IP address, what we put in is hostname space dash capital I, and it comes up with our IP address. All right, so you need that. All right, so what we're going to do, instead of building um, the flow, we're going to import it and I have put a link down below where you can get this sketch. All right, where you can, can get the sketch, which we can export and import flows. And I want to show you how to do that. In future videos, we are going to be building some node red flows. But uh, this is just a demonstration on what everything looks like. So if I go to the link that we got. This link here is in the description below, as I said. What we do, we copy all this. Right, right click, copy. Right, so you copy all of that. Go back to Node Red. And what we do, we've got this down arrow. Right, and we import. See the import fourth from the top. All right. Import nodes box comes up. Right click and then we paste it. All right, and then that flow uh, will be imported once we press the import button. Okay. And then import it. And there we go. We can then put it wherever we want. All right, we're not going to deploy this yet. Just yet, I just want to uh, quickly show you the nodes that we're using. These two here are MQTT in. All right, let's go up the top. This is a, uh, when I find it, let's find it. It's a switch. A switch, where's switch? There we go. Then we've imported a switch here. All right. Then we've got a, a message, a payload, which is, I think it's near the top. Yeah, the debug. See the debug? But remember, we can name this whatever we want. Right, we can name this whatever we want. So two of those. Now, this is on our dashboard layout. All right. You can see we want a gauge for our humidity and a chart for our temperature. And then we have a MQTT output. If we show you, I'll just show you this. It's in networking. 
the network and it's an MQTT out. All right. So that's the nodes we want. Now I'm just going to quickly uh, show you the makeup. All right. Uh, our local host, as we know, is 1883. All right. And our action is we want to subscribe to a single topic. All right. So we're subscribing to the humidity topic. And as you can see, ESP32 forward slash humidity. Now, all the code, the sketch is in the code. So this is telling uh, Node Red this is the topic. All right. Quality of service is two. All right. And then auto detect. All right. So uh, that's that one. They're pretty much. And then we got the same one. This time, its topic is temperature. Right, then we got the message payload and output message dot payload. It's on the debug window. All right, to show you humidity, the gauge. All right, this is a group. Okay, because I'm going to show you the groups in a minute, and it's a gauge, and we've labeled it humidity, and the same with temperature. All right. Okay, the temperature. All right, this gives you um, because it's a chart. We fill in the uh, the chart details, the colours we want. Right, now just show you uh, the dashboard, the main. All right, and there's our three groups: output, temperature, humidity. All right, and in the groups, output, temperature, humidity. All right, now what we do is up on our top, we got the deploy button, so we deploy it. I've already deployed it uh, just to test this, so I'm going to confirm deploy. All right, now here you can see already. Changes connected, connected, connected. And let's go to our Node Red dashboard. And there we go. This is our Node Red dashboard. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this on. All right, I'm going to turn this on. I am going to come down to uh, Arduino just to show you what's happening. Just to show you what happened. Here we are. We've got the serial monitor on. You can see I've just put message on, All right? There's our temperature. Okay, and there's our humidity. Come back to this. I will just want to quickly uh, take you back to instruction, and here you can see where I've turned it on. We're getting the the readings. Humidity fifty six point nine six. And 23.98 degrees. Now, what I want to do is just show you the um, the circuit. You can see the, uh, the little lights on, the little lights on. Now, I'm going to turn it off on the dashboard. And the light goes off. All right. And if we go to... Um, Arduino, you can see we've got the off button. All right, it's gone off. What I'm going to now do, while well, that's there, I'm going to turn it on. All right, you can see the message, it's come on. All right, just there, message, we've turned it back on. And the overhead, you can see the lights on. Right, I know that's. Um, Pretty simple, really simple. We, as I say, we will be building a node red flows or get yeah, node red flows in future sessions. This was just a quick session to put everything together, all that hard work that we've been doing, all that hard work that we've been doing. 
getting everything ready. But now everything's installed. So in the in future sessions, we haven't got to 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 bother loading Node Red, the dashboard, Mosquito, because it's all done. Um, there is one more element we are going to have to um, install, and that's a database. And there's several databases we can use with this, so I really haven't decided which one we'll use yet. But anyway, we'll look into that. Okay. Well. Quick little video makes a change. Quick little video. As I say, we will be doing flows later on in Node Red. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I know it's been a couple of days since I've done a video, but uh, I've had things to do. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next session. Bye bye.